Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Okay, so I really wasn't going to do it earlier this morning. I'm actually at the doctor with my daughter. Okay, so been up since, I don't know, six something, whatever the case may be. So I wanted to get up on here because someone sent me a video. Y'all have to excuse the mess, but y'all know they don't let y'all in there without it. So, and I'm waiting on her. So, um, long story short, here's what's going on. I actually received a video from people are in Texas and things of that nature. Okay, so I'm gonna get up on here. I'm just gonna hit it and quit it because this, this, these are the times that we're in, and I think people think this a game. Why do y'all think I've been calling fast? Cause and, and and excuse me, let me do my disclaimer. This for grown folks. This for true Christian talk right now. Cause cause I'm lit. And, and what I mean by that is, when we gonna get the message that I've been saying for ten years? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When are we going to get the message that I've been saying for 10 years, saints? Okay, hold on. This mess is getting on my nerve. Let me tell you something. Lord, have mercy. Slow me down. Call me. Call me, Lord. Have my lips. Take my, take my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm upset. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not upset at the government. I'm not upset at them people because they're going to do what they do. I told you. If y'all been following me, I see power outages are coming. I see them. Y'all go back 10 years. Everything I've told y'all, I see is happening with my own eyes. Matter of fact, that's why some people say, oh, you're a real prophet. Uh, you think? So anywho, let me tell y'all something. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me calm down so I can deliver this message. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you where we at. Why do you think I, God, first of all, let's get this first. I have never called a fast that God didn't call. Say it again, Deanna. I've never called a fast that the Lord didn't tell me to call. And the reason why he does this is because y'all sitting up there getting on Facebook, Crookbook, and everybody else fussing, cussing, acting a fool, men and women of God getting out of character. That is not of God. I don't care what the situation is. Even death, that's not of God. We don't get to do that. You know what our position is? And I've been trying to show y'all, excuse me, devil trying to choke me on my own words. <laughs> I've been trying to show y'all for months, years, couple of years with the fasting. That's our portion. We can't change anything by getting up on here, cussing, fussing, attacking. You know how we change it? We hit him in the spirit, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how you do it. We're in the days of old people. You got to fast and pray and back them up in the spirit. Because so is it as the spirit, so is the flesh. So it, as it is in the natural, said the Lord. Y'all sitting up there cussing, fussing, getting all out of character. That's not going, these, these devils don't listen to that. They laugh at that. They thrive on that, God says. They love that because they then they apply more pressure. They're always getting to them, it's getting to them, it's getting to them. No, saints. That's not how we do it. We battle in the spirit. Because God said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. It's time to summon God. That's why I've been having these fasts. No, God's been calling me to these fasts back to back. We just stopped one on Friday, 40 day fast. Y'all remember that? Now we on what? This is the third day of the 21 day full liquid fast. Have you not understood what I've been saying, people of God? And that's not to, trying to mock or belittle anyone. Things are coming that's worse than this. I see so much death. Unnecessary death has already been. Well, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, prophetess? We summon God. How do you but 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 hold on, you gotta get in a position to summon God. You you can't just lift up your voice because God said there's a sound. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. There's a sound that must go forth, said God. Not foolishness. God don't listen to foolishness. He said the thought of foolishness is sin. That's Bible. It is time for us to, why you think I've been fasting and praying? I just lost my aunt, lost my uncle, my dad in the hospital fighting for his life. I'm, I'm going to keep it a, a hundred. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Everybody looking. You okay? I am okay. Because God is God. But what's really happening, he didn't been making me fast so much until I'm in the spirit. It's not that I'm not sad. It's just that that God is God. And if he be God, be God. Guess what? Every, let, let every man be a liar. Hallelujah. That means whatever he allow, I love you, God. Whatever you do, I love you, God. Hallelujah. I'm still going to do my mandate. Hallelujah. Because truth be told, let me tell you what God is really doing. 
God is taking people home. So on that note, they're with Jesus. Hallelujah to his name. They don't have to worry about this no more. You and I, that's a different story. So how are we going to do this? Because if y'all don't know what time it is, for you worldly people especially, and even in the church, because everything in the church ain't godly, and everything in the world ain't, 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 ain't worldly. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It is time for prayer and fasting like never before. Not fussing, not cussing, not arguing with each other. Get on your face, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how we're going to win this battle. Because God said, and then I will heal your land. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Now I get on Facebook acting like you all bad because you ain't the people not listening to us. People don't care about us. Let me tell you something. Thank you, Lord. The descendants of Cain, that's who run this country. They hate the Lord. That's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know, they've been playing this since the 1800s. You can't stop it. I can't stop it. And you know who, who, who is actually the leader of it all? Satan. This is his world. But who's in control? I'm in control, said God. You see, thank you, Lord. I got to get up on here and I got to do a Bible study. Thank you, Lord. See, uh, I've just been so busy, but I got to do this. I've been studying the book of Jeremiah. So the other night, I'm just listening to Jeremiah, headed on audio. The whole Bible, the whole chapter, I mean, the whole book. Oh, my God. I challenge every last one of you to read Jeremiah. Jeremiah spoke of everything that's going on right now. I was just, I was bewildered. I said, God, Jeremiah knew. I said, you told him. I mean, everything we're going through, Jeremiah spoke of. And now this is what you got to understand. And the Lord God allowed it. And the Lord God said, I'll let them kill each other. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. What if I told you that this is judgment? Oh, I'm getting into it and I, I don't even have time to break that thing down. We're in judgment. <laughs> We're in judgment. I'm going to say it one more time for the people in the back. We're in judgment. So what you do when you're in judgment? You repent. Hallelujah. I see revival, but not till there is a great repentance come forth. Me, you, everybody. God said, none of you have done it right. God said, well, you, you've allowed the world. Hallelujah. I feel like crying. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, you've allowed the world to overtake you in everything. I did it too. Let's be honest. You stop playing. Stop lying. We've allowed the world to come into the church and turn our hearts against God. He said, but I'm going to allow so much that your hearts turn back to me. That's where we at. That's where we at. That's where we at. So now... It's time to repent. Lord God, I repent. David says, it's good that I've been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Y'all all understand what's happening? And, and more gonna come, God say. He said, but then you will turn to me and worship me again. He say, and, and I'm sorry, this gotta be real because I, I don't have time to play with y'all. We don't, we don't have as much time like y'all think. He says, I'm allowing this because you are forsaking me. And this is a thus said the Lord. America, the world is under judgment. You are forsaking me for your idols, your money, your men, your women. You love the men and the women more than me, said the Lord. You respect the men and women of God more than me, said the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, you've built your tall buildings. You've worshipped Baal. You've sacrificed children. He said, all in my name. Everybody that say, Lord, Lord, is not of me. He said, that day I will say, depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never knew you, said the Lord. You better get your mind right. You better get your mind right, said the Lord. Repent and turn from your wicked ways. Hallelujah. Stop sleeping with people in the church. Pastors, leaders, stop that foolishness. That's why, that's why your church ain't growing now. And truth be told, I feel the power of God. That's why your church been closed. As a matter of fact, let's just go. That's why he closed the churches. He allowed COVID. Them people didn't do nothing on their own. God said, I'm going to allow it. Because it's not mine anyway. Hallelujah. And all he did was expose you. Because only the real ones kept it open. Saying, hey, if they come, they come. But we're going to still serve the Lord. All he did was expose you fake preachers and teachers. That's all he did. He exposed you. Sitting up there and I'm going to call you out this morning. I ain't got no coops this morning. Some of y'all passing out to me. Oh, I got to say the name. William Murphy. 
passing our communion with Savage to Megan. You need to repent, man of God. And I love your music, but you need to repent. Y'all got to stop playing with God. God said, hallelujah. You need to repent. And I love you, but you need to repent. Jamal, Brian, you need to repent. I don't care who don't like me. You don't have to like me. I'm telling you what that said the Lord this morning. Hallelujah to his name. It don't matter if it was me. You need to repent, said the Lord. Doing your own thing and then want to get in a pulpit. How dare you, said the Lord. All y'all that's doing wrong. Repent, said the Lord. He said, because I'm going to expose you. As a matter of fact, he made you expose yourself, truth be told. How you going to do that? Don't you know that day when you played Megan the Stallion, giving communion, you tainted everything that was of God. So everybody got cursed that went through that line and did communion. Because you cursed it with the music. You know Megan not saved. How dare you? Hallelujah. And you a musician. But that's what Satan done done. Satan ain't got the Christian scene. He got all the musicians. He wanting to, wanting to be worldly. So you taint it. And, and I'm just telling what thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. I ain't know I was going to do all this. Excuse me. But I got to be obedient this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, it's cool out right here. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, excuse me. I use a mask. But um, let me tell y'all something right now. God is not playing with me, nobody. You know, and, and I'm going to tell you how real it is this morning. When I started these fasts, the 40 day fast, God said, Now let me tell you about you, Deanna. You was on it when you was in California. 24-7. He said, you're backed up. He said, I need you in this hour. That's why y'all see a more serious Deanna. I repented. I said, God, you're right. I backed up. I said, I was hurt. And I repent. I forgive everybody that hurt me. And I forgive. Her. I hope they forgive everybody that I hurt. And, I'm, and this is publicly saying it. If I ever hurt you in my tenure as a leader, please forgive me. As a person. As a sister. Hallelujah. It's time for us all to get it right. We don't have time to play games. And if you're playing and straying, don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to stop in a minute. Oh, you're going to stop in a minute, said the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So I pray in the name of Jesus that we come back with full authority. And hold on. The people I called out, let me tell y'all something. I love you. I love you. I love you. But it's time. It's time. We got to cut this stuff out. Because guess what? God said, and on that day, I will say to you, depart from me. But Lord, have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not cast out demons in your name? Ha have I not healed and delivered in your name? That's things he's talking about in that scripture, y'all. That's church folk. He said, depart from me. I never knew you. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah to his name. I feel the power of God. Telling you what God say. Repent. Repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. That's why all this, and more death is coming. All you got to do is read Jeremiah. Everything that God, that, that is happening in this hour, God told Jeremiah, the prophet. Didn't understand why he had me read that whole book and go through it the other day. And, and, and then when I did, I said, I got to read it again. Everything we're going through, God told Jeremiah. And that how, how many years ago that was? My God, my God, my God, fill the power of God. <sighs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray y'all start fasting. You don't have to join me, do your own fast. I don't care because some of y'all won't, won't do it just because it's attached to my name. <laughs> Catch that in the spirit. Y'all sitting up there playing them silly games. You can't stop who God used. I know, I, I know I'm a hard one. But what y'all don't understand is, Ha <laughs> let me tell you how the, how the Spirit of God works, especially when it comes to prophets. He make me live that thing and walk that thing, or he'll expose me. Y'all ain't got to worry about me. Hallelujah. You sitting up there trying to, well, you know, but, ooh, you don't have to like me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, for, for those prophets that are out there that don't want to say what does say the Lord, your position is just to say what does say the Lord. It doesn't matter who believe you or who don't, but you better live that thing and walk that thing and talk that thing because God will expose you. Everybody trying to watch how they look and this and that. Honey, you better walk like God tell you to walk and talk like God tell you to talk if you know anything 
Hallelujah. This stuff is real. This stuff is not a game. Y'all don't see. You better open your eyes. You better open your eyes, said the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Praise God. That's all God told me to say. Hallelujah. 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 I didn't even know I was going to do all this. I promise you. I was just going to get up here and tell y'all that this is the time of fasting and prayer. That's why I tried to get up on here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let me go ahead and do a prayer. I can't get off without prayer. Praise God. Uh, like I said, because y'all going to say, why you got the mask on? Because I believe I'm at the doctor with my daughter. So you got to, that's another thing. Y'all don't understand law. And I'm going to start doing nothing. But I've always been doing it. Biblical principles. God said, give Caesar's what is Caesar's and the Lord's what is Lord's. That's the end of that story. For y'all that, that's rebellious. You have to obey the law of the land to a certain degree. Notice what I say, a certain degree. If you go against anything of God, then I'm cool. I'm be like, Dan, you throw me in that lion's den. Ha ha, he got me. He gonna shut the lion's mouth. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. So let me go ahead and pray this morning. Father God, we just thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. We pray for the ones in Texas. Forget that. We pray for the whole world. We all need you, God. Oh, Father God, bless them. Keep them, Father God. And I'm gonna pray for the men and women of God. God, keep them in character. Don't just get on Facebook. Even though I started off emotional, notice how I pulled back. I said, God, keep me. Because we're still supposed to be kept. We can't walk any kind of way, talk any kind of way, especially in front of people. Everybody's watching. You don't get to do that, said the Lord. You have to be mindful, God says. So, Father God, I just pray in the name of Jesus for their strength, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, Father God. I pray that people come back to you with a whole heart, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that they stop playing, stop playing, stop playing, said the Lord, and that they fall in love with you again, God, and that they put down the unclean things that they have taken up, God. Oh, to put down the idols of money, fame, whatever is your God. That has to replace God. Oh God, we honor you. We give you, we give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory, we give you glory, God. We give you glory. Hallelujah, God. In Jesus' name, I pray this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. I say this prayer will not be hindered, stopped, or blocked, but will accomplish what it was sent to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Thank you, Jesus. You know, that's how I know. That, that anointing is on me heavy. I told y'all last night, the more the enemy tried to take my peace, God said, I'm going to give you peace. But I noticed my anointing is heavier than it's ever been. Because I used to, if you want to know the truth, God, if I say that, they're not going to like me. God, if I rebuke somebody, they're going to say, who are you? <laughs> it don't even matter no more. Our mandate is to say what does say the Lord. Because, I'm, and I got to say this, prophets and people of God, you don't want to say nothing. And God been telling you to say nothing. God going to hold you accountable on that day. Well, I don't want this one to turn you back on me. Or I don't want this one not to like me. Or I don't want, I don't care who like me. I don't care who accept me. I don't care who don't. Long as the Lord is pleased, y'all better start understanding who is your God. That's why he said that when I first came on here, y'all love men and women of God more than God. That should not be, said the Lord. I'm your God. That's what he said. Not men, not women, not me. Y'all get people in trouble like that. Thank you, Lord, I hear you. That's what happened to King Saul. He loved the people. He, he listened to the people and not God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to get up off of here. God bless you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah.